Namaskar and welcome back to our YouTube channel, VLSA for All, a hub for technical education and an epicenter for affordable VLSA coaching in India. Today, we are indeed proud and honored to have with us Mr. Balam Teja, a student who is pursuing his master's at the prestigious Indian Institute of Technology, Hyderabad campus, in the stream of integrated sensor systems. Uh, sir, with your kind permission, can we start our questionnaire so that you can enlighten our audience even more? Yes, I'm going, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, starting off, sir, uh, could you please tell us a bit about more your uh, uh, more about yourself and your uh, academic background? Yeah, sure. I am Teja. I did my BTEC in Electrical and Electronics Engineering from a private engineering college in Hyderabad, which is affiliated to JNTU Hyderabad. And then uh, I have prepared for gate examination. I gave my gate paper in uh, electrical engineering stream. And presently I'm pursuing my MTech in integrated sensor systems, which is an interdisciplinary MTech course here at IIT Hyderabad. And uh, I'm presently in my second semester first year. Yes, sir. Uh, so your profile is very astonishing as you have written the gate exam three times and you are presently at the IIT Hyderabad. Uh, so how did you manage yeah. your balance, uh, manage and balance your time while in undergraduation and get preparation? Yeah, actually it's not three times that I have given gate. It's actually five times that I have given my gate, four times in electrical engineering paper and once in instrumentation engineering. And um, when I was in my undergraduation, uh, all the concepts were pretty new for me like uh, in the classroom, I used to hear the terms voltage and current for some hundreds of times. Uh, so I was very much fascinated. So I started going through the textbooks uh, when I was in my undergraduation. The preparation was not much specific for gate examination. All I did was going through the textbooks and uh, I used to pretty much like the problems that are given at the back set of the textbooks i used to solve them and that is how my preparation went when i was in my undergraduation and once i finished my undergraduation uh, i used to I, I channelized my preparation like what are the concepts and how i used to manage my time like, like how should i manage my time i used to give some importance to all those things and it went to a specific direction after my undergraduation yeah and uh, once i've given it even in instrumentation engineering paper and here i'm finally at iit hyderabad Yes. Uh, moving on here, sir. You are presently studying in uh, one of the best colleges in India. Uh, how is the work environment yeah. there? The work environment here at IIT Hyderabad is pretty fantastic. Uh, even though IIT Hyderabad it is a second generation IIT, I can uh, uh, I can with very much confidence say that it is one of the such IITs which is capable of. Uh, competing with the, all the old generation IITs, especially the research environment here is very good. And one thing which is pretty fascinating about IIT Hyderabad is that here we have a lot of young faculty and they give a lot of importance to research. Yeah, everything like uh, the facilities are fantastic, be it academic, cultural, or campus level. Yeah, everything is fantastic. Yes, sir. Uh, you did your bachelor's BTEC from Tripoli, the, the electrical and electronics engineering, and you've uh, yeah, yeah. stuck to the core domain. Any specific reason as most of the people switch their career to computer science engineering? Uh, sorry, can you please repeat the question? Sure. Uh, you did your bachelor's in Tripoli, and you've stuck yeah. to the core uh, domain. Any specific reason as most people switch their Careers to the computer science stream after graduation. Are you asking me why did I switch to VLSA? No, I'm asking like uh, why did you choose to uh, uh, stay in the, the core field? No, in fact, uh, my undergraduation it is more concentrated towards electrical engineering. But now my master's, it is in integrated sensor systems and it is pretty much related to VLSI. So I didn't continue in the same core electrical engineering. I switched to VLSI to me. Yeah. Uh, my question uh, here is that like what, like why didn't you go to the computer science uh, stream? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
so when i was in my under, uh, under graduation my btech is in electrical and electronics engineering even though the name suggests electrical and electronics my uh, focus used to be more on the electrical side of triple e so uh, even though my focus used to be more on the electrical side of triple e i am also aware of uh, uh, some electrical subjects like we used to be taught uh, even subjects such as analog uh, circuits digital circuits and uh, device devices related subjects so i'm a bit related to electronics also so that is the reason uh, i thought of switching uh, to such a domain which is already a bit familiar to me and computer science is not that familiar uh, to my under graduation so i didn't that is the reason i didn't switch to computer science and instead chosen a branch like iss which is pretty much related to vlsi and electronics yeah yes sir uh, moving on here sir this is a very uh, a pertinent question many of our audience has uh, there is hmm. always a complaint from the student community that there is no linkage hmm. between what is being taught in the class and what the industry expects how would you address this hmm. issue yeah anurag like uh, that question is a uh, bit valid because most of uh, the student community when they are doing their under graduation they are not fortunate enough to study in nits or iits so when they start study in what my personal opinion is that when uh, students study in uh, tayitri private engineering college what is being taught and uh, what is that is being expected of the student in the industry they might be pretty much different from each other uh, it's true to some fact uh, to true to some extent but when it comes to nits and iit as as, uh, as uh, i have been seeing the cur curriculum in iit at iit hyderabad since the past couple of months here there is a uh, so much link in between what is that is being taught in academics and what is being expected from the student in the industry so when it comes to nits and iits and particularly about iit hyderabad like there is no gap in between what is being taught and what is being ex expected from the student in the industry but when it comes to other private engineering colleges especially type 3 cities there might be some problem yes yes sir uh, can you please elaborate a bit about the placement options at iit hyderabad placements here at iit hyderabad they are pretty fascinating in fact like uh, uh, we had the first season completed last year the first season at iit hyderabad it was lasting from august to december onwards and um, when it comes to especially the placements in vlsa they are pretty fantastic uh, almost i could say in vlsa in microelectronics and vlsa the placement percentage is 100 percentage and in my branch integrated sensor system the placement percentage we support nearly 85 to 90 percentage and uh, the highest package that was offered was 64 lpa uh and there are big giants recruiting from iit hyderabad uh, in all the mtech branches related to vlsi like we uh, we had uh, texas instruments qualcomm uh, and uh, tsmc and a lot of other vlsi companies the placements are fantastic yes sir. especially in design related areas like analog ic design and digital ic design the placements are pretty good yeah uh, moving on to the next question, uh, in which area are you currently working on? How is the difficulty level with respect to finding resources, coaching in case if you are uh, if you taken and finding the job in the market? Presently, I'm working in the area of digital IC design. So me being a student of electrical and electronics engineering in my undergraduation, it is a bit tough for me to have a transition from megawatt to milliwatt and that is what uh, i could see in linkedin profiles so it's a bit difficult but uh, uh, here at iit hyderabad i have a lot of uh, i have a lot of good seniors who are uh, very much supportive in nature and also the professors and the resources that the college is providing to the students uh, they are pretty fantastic so with the help of seniors professors and uh, the college resources it IIT Hyderabad, I'm able to proceed further. Yeah, I'm in the process. So it's not up to the extent where I want to be myself, but the process is going on and I'm improving day by day in the field of digital IC design. Yes, sir. Uh, this and apart very... from that, 
this at least continue apart from apart from professor seniors and college we have a lot of uh, good uh, uh, materials and guidance from uh, internet and beat vlsi for all they provide a lot of good content so we i do refer that also yeah yes sir thank you for that um so moving on here sir this is a very pertinent question many of our uh, audience do ask uh the mm -hmm. question is that many people don't take their resume making seriously can you please tell our audience how to structure a resumes so that we can get shortlisted easily resume making is in fact very much important when it comes to placement so one must be honest when it comes to resume i, I feel so uh, coming to placements if one wants to uh, get placed so we need to go through the company profile what is the job profile that the company is offering for us so let us say if you are applying for a embedded profile then our resume must also be uh, related to some uh, embedded so whatever the project that we are doing in embedded we must be able to show show them in the resume and similarly if it is analog or digital similar kind of projects which we have done in analog and digital we should be able to project them in our resume yeah that's what i could say it's pretty much important and we should be honest and it should be relatable to the job profile which the company is offering let us say the job profile is digital and i am putting a resume resume which is of uh, uh, embedded projects then there are very less chances that our resume might get shortlisted and here at iit hyderabad there are a lot of companies which shortlist the students directly for the interview on the basis of resume so it's pretty much important yeah uh, sir i may know your opinion about pursuing mtech in india versus masters in usa how would you guide a young college graduate like me yeah what i feel is that actually there is a lot of negativity spread out spread about doing mtech in india uh, uh from my personal experience like uh, i used to go through the answers in quora like everywhere there used to be a lot of negative things written about mtech but pursuing mtech here in india especially in top premier institutes like the iits it's a very good option so if one is getting the opportunity to pursue an mtech uh at iits in very good mtech branches like beat microtrons and vlsi or communication and signal processing and even peps portals and power system they are having a lot of good opportunities in iits so if one is getting an opportunity then i feel that one must go for iit and at the same time uh, if someone is uh, uh, also having an opportunity at top notch institutions of the world like uh, beat massachusetts or stanford if they are getting such high standard colleges in the us then i feel that they should go to us if not uh, they should go for uh, iit delhi or iit bombay like that we may not be knowing that uh, even iit delhi or iit bombay they are equivalent to stanford or massachusetts something like that in terms of research so but still the preference should be given to stanford or massachusetts something like that but i what i feel is that someone shouldn't go to such a kind of college in the us whose name we haven't heard of never in our in our life instead of going to such kind of colleges whose names we have never heard it is better to pursue mtech here at iits mm -hmm. but if the colleges are very much big is like stanford they'll go for stanford massachusetts yes sir that is very true uh, moving on uh, here sir as a core domain expert Uh, what would you suggest to young college graduate to choose between front end and back end keeping in mind the salary job perspective uh, promotions etc hmm. like everything has its own pros and cons so uh, what i feel is that uh, it must be left to the interest of the student if the student is finding it more interesting the front end or be it the back end one should go with that and what i feel is that even the opportunities are equally good for both the domain be it front end or back end. yes uh, according to you sir from your experience at iit hyderabad and the gate preparation what subjects mm -hmm. and languages one must prepare so that 
they can uh, fit into a, a good product based company in the vlsi domain okay actually it's a very good question because especially for gate electrical engineering paper uh, as far as i know the weightage is very much less for unlock unlock circuits and digital circuits so many a times the students keep preparing these two subjects because the weightage is pretty much less their concentration would mostly be lying upon subjects like electrical machines power systems control systems something like that but still if someone wants to pursue an mtech that is related to vls domain one must focus upon unlock circuits and digital circuits uh, during the gate preparation it would be pretty much helpful if they are good at unlock circuits and digital circuits yeah. for example like uh, those students who are preparing for gate electrical engineering people they will completely leave mosfet but when they come for an mtech uh, in micro and vlsi everything starts from mosfet so unlock circuits and digital circuits are pretty important and one must be also good at network theory which is a very basic yeah even yeah. most of the interviews that are required for research assistance the interview it goes upon on the basis of these two subjects unlock circuits digital circuits yes sir um uh, do you want to say a few words to our audience about vlsi for all channel and its various initiatives yeah mm -hmm. actually the students are in need of a guidance uh, so vlsa4 is such a is such a channel that it is providing a very good guidance for all the students so in fact i would also be thankful to vlsa4 all for the kind of guidance that it is providing to the students mm -hmm. yeah it is pretty helpful and i yeah. request even all the students to go to the free content that is available on vlsa for all because it is pretty good yes sir uh, sir uh, this is a final question before i uh, i wrap up the interview uh, one mistake yeah. if any you uh, you did in your uh, academic years and you do not want any other people to do it could you please elaborate academic year in the sense uh, mm -hmm. is it during my gate preparation or ug or in here at pg which stage do you want to know uh, gate preparation and the master gate preparation yes yeah. yeah one thing that i would that i that i would advise the students is that firstly be as much disciplined and serious towards your preparation as you could be actually i see a lot of students who take drop after drop after drop for cracking gate but one year it would be sufficient if you are very much disciplined and serious and sincere about it be perseverant about your preparation and if possible start your preparation for gate right from your third year onwards and one more uh, thing uh, i want to tell you is that one mistake which i did was uh, i joined in mtech here at iit hyderabad last year but i didn't apply for more number of iits so i would also suggest the students to apply for as much as many iits as possible as many mtech branches as possible uh, when i mean as many mtechs as possible as many iits as possible i mean to refer to the good iits and good mtech branches if your score is good as apply for as many branches as you could because you could uh, not always rely upon what are the past cutoffs the cutoffs will be changing each and every year so these two suggestions i would like to give you be serious towards your preparation when you are preparing for your gate and once you are cracked gate apply for as many places as possible don't rely much upon the past cutoffs the cutoffs will be changing each and every year yeah yes sir it was really great talking to you sir as an engineer myself i feel that many jigsaw puzzles in my mind have been clarified hope to see you on yet another episode on our youtube channel until then a goodbye signing off this is anurag thank you thanks